New Zealand is one of the world's most special slices of paradise. When people come to visit New Zealand, they feel like they've been rejuvenated. It's a special place. The landscape is majestic. Everywhere you go, you see these beautiful mountains and waterfalls at every turn. New Zealand has been beautiful. It's all about the people. They're warm and friendly and so diverse. It's, it's been wonderful. This Discovery Small Groups Tour of New Zealand begins on the North Island in the beautiful city of Auckland before turning south to see the volcanoes of Tongariro National Park. Next, it's off to Rotorua to visit the geothermal parks and experience the Maori culture. Our journey continues with a flight to the South Island where we will travel through the panoramic landscape to see the blue penguin colony in Omaru followed by a stay in the scenic lakeside village of Queenstown, where we will also explore the majestic scenery of Milford Sound. Our journey continues with a stay in the dramatic landscape of Franz Joseph Glacier, before concluding our tour in the garden city of Christchurch. Auckland is New Zealand's largest city. It's uh, located on an isthmus. There are about 48 volcanoes there. And this is going to be the start of our journey when we learn more about how New Zealand came to be the youngest landmass in the world and some of the reasons why New Zealand is so amazing to come and visit with Discovery Tours. We went on the wine tour in Wahiki. It was a wonderful, wonderful trip. Just experiencing the islands is interesting. There's beaches, there's all sorts of things that you could do aside from the winery tours. And the wine was wonderful. We went to three different wineries and it was fun to just sample all the different small vineyard wineries. Tongariro National Park, just the, the ambience in the hotel itself was amazing. It was this older hotel with a lot of character, high, beautiful interior ceilings. Just being there in the fresh, crisp air with the mountains behind, that was really amazing for me. Next we're going to head to Rotorua, and Rotorua is the heart of maori in New Zealand. It's really rich with its Māori culture and also the geothermal reserves. The thermal parks were fantastic. They were something we don't see normally where I come from. I think the mud pits, frankly, were something that really hit home with me. They were just boiling up from the middle of the earth. It was fantastic. Our guide there, I thought, was fabulous because he grew up in the Māori culture and you could tell his love of his heritage. They really put on a, a very educational and a fun show. We really enjoyed it. it. It gave you a completely different look at the culture of the entire country. The Maori Cultural Center was one of the highlights in, in Rotorua. What I've seen is the mainstream people of New Zealand, they have accepted and embraced their root culture, the Maori culture, and it looks like they have blended their own culture with Maori. And I think that brings out the friendliness and openness in, in, in the people. Next we're flying to the South Island and during our time there we're going to see the spectacular scenery that so many people talk about. We're going to see the Southern Alps the mountain range, we're going to see fjords, we'll see snow up on the mountain peaks. Queenstown has been just amazing because of the mountains, the lakes and so much activity up there. It's a very lively place and a lot of things to do. We're going to have some time to go up to the Skyline Gondola. You get a fantastic view of the complete mountain range and the lakes in the area. There's many, many things to do. You can go bungee jumping. Queenstown is the birthplace of bungee jumping around the world. You can also go to wineries, and this particular region is very specific for the fantastic Pinot Noir varietal. And one of the optional tours that you can explore is to go out on the TSS Unslaw, the only steamship to New Zealand, and travel across to Walter Peak Station, which is a high country farm station. And we're going to have a really lovely barbecue dinner. 
The show of the sheep and the dogs was very interesting. Sheep up on the hill and the shepherd dog goes up there and rounds them up, moves them around, and then after that there's sheep shearing. And also we will see farm animals, sheep, just a little snapshot of high country rural living. The Milford Sound experience for me was, was one of the highlights of the trip. You're able to see these huge mountains that just rise up from the sea. It was just a beautiful sight. That's what you think of when you think of New Zealand. The landscape, the waterfalls were truly beautiful and amazing. It's definitely a must do for anybody that's coming to New Zealand. Just being in the water body with the thousands of feet of lush green mountains, waterfalls, it's just a heavenly experience for me. Next we're going to head towards Franz Joseph Glacier and so we're going to have a chance to walk up the Glacier Valley. The hike up the Glacier Valley was beautiful. There were lush green mountains all around and waterfalls. Some of us even stood under the waterfalls. The Discovery Tours are a super way to travel. It's a smaller group, it's easier to move around, you get to know the people. Not only do you get to know the people that you're interacting with, but you also get a lot more personalized service, I think. I'm a person I can create my own itinerary for traveling. But just uh, being with the fellow travelers with different background, interacting with them, I think that, that's the best part of the whole tour. I think the benefit of going on a tour is, first of all, all of our guides have been so knowledgeable. Linda's been wonderful. On this trip particularly, we've got such an understanding of the Māori culture. She's been so great in sharing that all with us. This is our third Gate 1 trip, and it's been a wonderful experience in seeing how organized it is and how well things are chosen for you to go and see and experience a new place. It takes that homework out for me. We've recommended Gate 1 to neighbors and friends who have also taken the trips, and I definitely would recommend people coming to New Zealand. It's a wonderful country. Oh, I'd absolutely recommend coming to New Zealand. If it isn't on your bucket list, it should be. So come to New Zealand with Discovery Tours. We look forward to hosting you in our slice of paradise at the bottom of the South Pacific Ocean. Kia ora.